good afternoon to everyone. For those who do not know me, I'm Jessica Flores. I pray that the Lord will use my testimony and my life as his mighty tool. I pray for those that are here and not truly with Christ that you will see your true state before a true, righteous, living God before it is too late. It is beyond amazing when you actually sit down and actually meditate on God's word of just how amazing he truly is. To be the creator of us, this world, and everything in it, and send his only son to pay for our sins, my sins. I never really had put thought into it or had really cared. In my head and wicked heart, I was a good person because I had accepted Jesus in my heart and because I had said I was a good person. But in reality, I was that wicked, sinful person whose good deeds were nothing but filthy rags, as it says in Isaiah 64, 6. But we are all like unclean things, and all our righteousness are like filthy rags. We all fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. I was that person throughout Scripture, traveling on that wide, destructive path that only leads to one place. And that is hell, as in Matthew 7, 13 through 14. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. I was a habitual sinner, without having fear of the one true living God. I have to admit, when I attempted suicide, and there were many times... There was one main attempt that by no means I should be here today. I know that God would, I know that if God would have permitted me to die that day, I would have came face to face with him. And I know where he would have sent me for eternity, and that was hell. I praise God that he allowed me to live, even though he knew I would continue to live in sin for another 15 years. By the complete grace of God, he allowed Crystal, Kim, and Jessica Barkeen to come to our door in 2008. And by his grace, he allowed Lewis to answer that door that fateful day. And by his grace and mercy, he allowed for the sermon that we heard that day when we came to Cornerstone to be those painful daggers piercing through my eyes, my heart, my ears, and my mind. He completely started to unravel my sinful pride my sinful heart and started to remove those scales from my eyes. God is not who I made him out to be. I made him a liar, a weak God, and a fool. By being exposed to the true word of God, I came to learn who he really was. I made him a liar by thinking and saying I was going to heaven and that he wouldn't send me to hell even though I was a habitual sinner. I made him weak in my own heart by thinking he wouldn't be righteous and just to punish me. I made him a fool in my own mind and my heart by thinking he did not know what I was doing and that I could do whatever I wanted. But I now know that I am the foolish one, I am the weak one, and I am the liar. Praise God for allowing such a wretched, filthy person as myself to be allowed to have access to his word and to be able to repent from my old wicked ways. Praise God for this new heart, a heart that strives to follow him, strives to live by his commands, strives to really read his word, a heart that fears one, the true living God. Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. His ways are good, they are beautiful, they are the light. The ways of this world have done nothing but brought pure misery and darkness upon me. Our sin does nothing good for us and will eventually lead us to eternity in hell. May the Lord allow us to continue to grow in his word together, keep each other accountable, helping each other to strive and endure the race, to endure the suffering that we may come across, to be the body of Christ. And I thank you for everyone that has stood by us, for Pastor Mark and Pastor Charlie, through, especially through all the turmoils that we have faced, and just for being the light and showing us to persevere. Thank you.